Hi, welcome to the short lecture series of Sinus Bradycardia. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please like and subscribe my channel. We'll see the sinus bradycardia. Here again, you can see a P wave, QRS complex and a T wave. And there will be an isoelectric line. Again, a P wave, QRS complex and a T wave. So this pattern is repeating and if you see the heart rate is lesser than 80 so it is 56 beats per minute and the P wave is always upright in lead 2 and the QRS complex is narrow as usual in a sinus rhythm. The heart rate will be lesser than 60 beats per minute. And this kind of bradycardia is very common in athletes due to optimal stroke volume that requires less heart rate to yield acceptable cardiac output. Because of repeated exercise, the optimal cardiac output is yielded by a lesser heart rate. Okay, as you know, the cardiac output is a, a product of stroke volume and heart rate. So next, the vagal stimulation and sick sinus syndrome can cause this kind of uh, rhythm, sinus bradycardia. Thanks for watching my video. If you didn't subscribe, please like and subscribe my videos.